Lord, oh, Lord. You ever watched a movie that was so boring you wanted to fast forward to get to the end, just get it over with? This is that kind of movie. Let's talk about it. Dead and Beautiful, directed by David Verbeek. And this is available on Shudder if, you, if you're interested. And as always, there's slight spoilers, folks, but not the ending. All right, so you have these spoiled-ass rich kids. Correction, bored spoiled-ass rich kids. They basically roam around town, do whatever they want. Why? Because they're spoiled-ass rich kids. They start random fights, party whenever they want, wherever they want, because they're spoiled-ass rich kids. They're having a get-together for a friend of theirs who recently died. Until the dude pops out of a big ass cake that they had for him. Random ass joke to play on friends, I know. But hey, they can do that sort of thing because they're spoiled ass rich kids. Something else that I'm sort of confused about is I believe two of these friends are in a relationship, but it seems like they all kind of mess around with each other anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. So one night, because they're bored and have nothing else better to do, they decide to camp in a forest where this dude who performs a sort of ritual that entails him putting blood and some sort of smoke inside of a cup, and they all inhale it. And they start getting high from this thing, start tripping out and roaming around, hallucinating. You know the rest. Then they wake up the following morning, and one of them apparently killed the ritual dude. And to top it off, they all have fangs now. What? Are they vampires? Guess they better find cover before the sun comes out, right? So they head to a spot to cover and chill for, for the day until night hits. Once they wake up, they decide to test their newfound powers. They go to a club, and, and the two girls hit on a dude and take him to a private room where they tell him if he wants to continue partying with them, he has to give up some blood. And he does it. What? Yeah, folks, this, this literally happened in the movie. One of them goes to a corner store and buys gum and thinks he used mind control on the cashier. Another one kidnaps a chick so they can feed on her. At least one of them has a little sense and doesn't believe the hype because these spoiled ass rich kids can still walk in the sun. They have a reflection in the mirror. They're not really thirsting for blood. They just have fangs and they just don't go away. So is this shit real? Have they really become vampires? Or has somebody played a joke on them? And this is all a placebo effect as these spoiled ass rich kids have taken the bait. Hmm. Dude, straight up. This movie sucks. I'll be honest with you. But you kind of already know what's going to happen by the end of the movie by the first act. The ending at the same time is no surprise for the reveal. If they were vampires or not, I'm going to say that. But you'll, trust me, you'll see. But what came with it was fucking stupid, though. Some random ass shit. I'll just say this. If you've seen this movie called The Game with Michael Douglas, then you'll kn you know what I mean when it comes to the ending. My God. This movie is horrible. Enough said. We're literally watching spoiled ass rich kids do dumb shit for nearly two hours. None of them have any redeeming qualities. The story could be slow at times and not seem to know where it wants to go or do. And I'll admit the production looks good. I mean, the film and stuff, it looks great, so I'll say that. But the plot was weak. I found myself bored and not really being engaged in the film. You kind of hope they make something interesting in this, though. At least to keep it going through the whole movie. I mean, obviously my biggest complaint is the story, like I said. The path they chose to go down was bland and so uninteresting. I feel this movie would have sufficed if there were more action and less drama and slow points. Instead, it made me hate these spoiled ass rich kids even more. But hey, it is what it is. I I can't recommend this movie. As I really enjoy vampire the vampire genre and feel this one does not belong in it. Pass on this one, folks. This is my overall feeling about the movie and these spoiled ass rich kids. Actually, <laughs> actually, that actually would have been a better title for the movie. 
spoiled ass rich kids rated suck and not suck your blood but suck as in it actually sucks <laughs> anyhow if you watch this one I'm dying to know what you guys think. So definitely let me know what your thoughts are. In the meantime, stay nasty, my friends. Leave a like. And remember, folks, here at the Don't Split Up channel, hell has never been so cool. These goddamn rich kids. Spoiled ass rich kids. Stay nasty. I'll see you soon. Would you steal a car? No. Would you steal a computer? No. Would you steal a purse? No. Would you steal a TV? No. Have you subscribed to the Don't Split Up channel yet? No. Viewing without subscribing is a dick move. Don't be a dick. Subscribe. Click and subscribe. It's free.